All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are moments away from starting the final between Chris Beagley, the number one seed for the tournament. He's done his job, he's made the final. And I think maybe Travis was number two seed. Um, he was also done his job and made the final. So the, 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 the two seeds, the highest seeds in the tournament have made the final. So let's just say that's a fitting result. Obviously not a fitting result for the people that are in the tournament that didn't make it. So race to nine. Looks like Beggs has won the toss and he's going to break off. If you have tuned in already, please share this link on your page or other pool forums you know. Give these guys a bit of exposure. They both deserve it. They've both probably been the best two players in the room this weekend. And a big break from Beegs there, and I'm pretty sure he'll say, give me the yellow balls. And almost in unison, he nominates yellows, as I call it. May leave this red over the left corner longer than what you normally would. Just a little bit of security while he deals with a couple of tricky balls on the table. Really only tricky balls, the one to the left side of the table, the three, the, the one that's in between sort of a line of three on the left side of the table. But I think he's gonna try and deal with it pretty quickly. No, he's gonna get rid of this. It, look, it's not a, it's not an important ball if you are going to commit 100%, but. Looks like he's going to drop this ball into the middle because he's got a big pocket there with the yellow sitting there. There are a couple of pitfalls with his clearance. Um, obviously he's just looking at his bottom ball now. So if he actually plays for the ball in the middle next, he's then got to play a fairly good shot on this ball on the, on the uh, bottom rail to get back centre table. Gonna drop this in. And the reason he's sort of double, triple checking himself, oh, he's gonna play it first. Oh, it's a lovely. Well, he could actually had enough to draw back off it. I think he still would have liked to have been a little neater than that. Although I think that yellow goes to the top left-hand corner, so he's gonna come out for that. He'd prefer not to catch the yellow here pot it clean if he can. Plays a lot of right hand side. That's a lot. He's played it deliberately. That's a deliberate shot, folks. He's played it really nicely. The pace was excellent on that shot. If he overhits it, he lands on the bottom rail. If he underhits it, the red obstructs the potting angle. So he's played that to perfection. I think he's just got just enough angle as well just to force the white across a little bit for the pot in the middle. Really hit this low. Well, that surprises me. I thought he could have just played it above center and played like a force shot and just punched the wide across. So, Travis's first look in his final. I don't want to be uh, giving Travis easy chances like this either. Oh, look out, I have finally got someone with some kanunas that will put the microphone on. Scotty McKay is just sussing out the new headphone system that Dan's implemented. It's, it looks like a nose ring. <laughs> How are you, Scotty? I am wonderful, Jamie. Yourself? Good, mate. Good to see you. No, no pool for you for a while? No, no, no. Camping this weekend, which was fun. Thought Travis is going into lockdown mode straight away. I like how he's pretending to look at other balls <laughs> here and like... He's, he's, no. We already know the second the white ball landed what he was going to do. He 
does have a good touch for those shots, but that's that's because of practice. That's because he plays him at least eight <laughs> shots a frame. <laughs> no, he's actually... Um, he's opened up quite a lot. Yeah, I know Travis is recognised as a, a slow and um, tactical player because his tactical game is very strong, but he's, he's very aggressive player mm. now. And I know his wife, Melissa, is watching because she basically messaged me to tell me how crap I was. And uh, I agreed with her. Actually, she told me I was shit. Okay, and let's I, be honest. And I, I, well, I told her I was worse than that, so... <laughs> I put an F in front of it. So, so some other, <laughs> other unfavourable words. Yeah. Uh, I've been looking forward to this match, actually. I've been, I've been watching all weekend still. I, I think these have been the best two players for the weekend, I really do. I, um, I heard you commenting, commenting on, the, on the seating. I actually like the fact that, that Beggs was seated number one. He is our hometown hero. Yep. And because Travis decided to go elsewhere, he can EAD. EAD. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually um, queried the seedings because um, I got a message saying I was fifth, so I just asked who the other four seeds were, and when I was told, I said, yep, yeah, cool, no worries. I mean, I'm, I don't really deserve a seating up here. I've never, never done anything up here, so why should I get a seating, really? And, well, I'm tipping off the performance today and won't I get a seat in next year either from up back here so it's good to see you up here though it's been, it's been a few years yeah well 2014 was the last time I was here when the Nationals were here yeah, I think Travis might put this over the hole yeah he did have an option to drop the ball in the um, in the middle and then play the the red in the right centre off two rails and extract the mm. red off the side rail but there was risk attached to it and this, th th that's a risk-free shot, and, and I think early on in the match, especially Travis will will go lo into lockdown mode a little. He'll he'll be he'll, he'll be screwing it real tight, especially against Bees. Yeah, and Bees is a very aggressive player as well. He's fairly free-flowing. He likes to get on with it. This is like I said, this is a very good grudge match between these two, especially after uh, it was a, I don't know how many years ago they they played in the semis and, and Bees knocked him off in the semis. Yeah, I heard there was a big punch on as well. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't really, but I thought if I said that, uh, people might their ears might prick up, and then you know, nah. <laughs> they listen more. Nah, still lots of love. Well, he's got a double million on the left. So what's he I don't know about yeah. this shot. It's, it doesn't really help him. I mean, it's, obviously it's a containing shot, but geez, it's hard to deny this three ball plant. It's really hard to deny it. Because you know if you make contact, the yellow is going to be cleared. Mm. Maybe, he's, maybe he's putting the, the fish in out there to see if he'll take it. Yeah, I think you might be right. I think he wants him to have a dip and hope that he overcuts the red, like the third red. The second red, sorry. But he's, I think he's looking at it, but... If I know Trav first frame of the day, he won't take it He's on. not going to risk it for the biscuit. Not this one. Geez, I'd find it hard not to play that shot. And I'm not very aggressive either compared to most players, but to me it's, I don't know, it just seems like the only shot to play. I feel like it would turn out badly for me if I played that shot. See, at the moment, the reason he's taken so long is because he doesn't want to play that shot, but now he's looking for a place where he can leave the white, where he won't leave an extraction or an easy pot to transition to a double. Or... As long as he gets back to the middle behind the black. He's done what you've said too. Wow. But he's, so this is what I mean. He has, he has left the chance here. Mm. So B's can pot this, play the double. He's already lined up the key where he wants the white. I guarantee he's going to go for it straight away. And I really do think Travis should have played that three ball plant. The safety was just as hard. So why not take it on? Uh, he's, he's not far off the safety though. Not far off. You know what they say about not far off, mate? <laughs> has another sentence with the word in it not, mm. not good enough. <laughs> Well, the position. Is that a little bit. That's a bit far. A bit thin, you reckon? I think. Do you, do you think it'll catch the red and you'll be yeah. alright? Oh, he's missed it, and he's yeah. missed it badly. Now, yeah, Travis wishing he played the three ball plant. 
Now, now he's thinking I'm a genius for not taking that shot on. <laughs> he's got a good angle to just bring this red into play off the side rail. If he doesn't like it, he can run through and give himself an angle to play the plan and take the white ball right side of the table is a bit of a shot for nothing, but I think you I think you've got to play the kick out here, don't you? Oh now we've got commentators coming from everywhere. Jade Dan City will jump in if you want. That's a good yeah, shot. That's a good shot. What are they they, they, they take them in the middles pretty well, don't they? Take the what, sorry? They take the ball the balls to in the middles pretty well. Well I think so, but it's amazing like the last match in this table, both um, JJ and Beggs missed a ton of balls in the middle. But I just think it was inaccuracy, not not mm. the ball the pop problem with the pockets. But I have noticed too the um, the cuts, uh, there is a piece of wood underneath the rubber, so if you actually hit that wood, even if you hit it fairly deep in the pocket, it just bangs in that wood, goes to the other piece of wood and spits out. Okay. So you've just got to be aware of it. Oh. That's, a, that's a lovely shot. He's actually just made sure that this out's so simple because he's landed nice and straight, whereas if he had to play low on that, then he's got a bit of a cart, white ball's moving, and he might not land perfect. Now he can do whatever he wants. Still a lot of players underplaying that. Yeah, absolutely. You're better off overplaying mm. it. This will go in the right middle, though, after this red. So is Travis... He, is he going to drop it in or is he going to hit it in? No, I think he'll kill it. He won't smash it, but he'll kill it. There you go. Yeah, oh, established, he's, even, established he's, the dominance. He's going right? for this shot to nothing. <laughs> Not for the frame. <laughs> He's like, if I miss this black, I'm leaving hard on that yellow. <laughs> now, it'd be interesting to see if, let's just say, for argument's sake, Trav gets 3 0 up. Let's just say he's 3 0 up. And then he gets that plant again. Do you reckon he takes it on that time? Or do you reckon he still keeps the screws locked in and plays the safety again? <sighs> It's, it, it is a tough call. Like I said, there's, there's, this is a good grudge match. So he's, he, he really wants to win. Really he wants he to bury really, it. He really wants it. So it's, three nil up is more of a chance, but I'm, I'm still not sure. Cheers, boss. I don't know. I, I've seen Travis play a fair bit in the last couple of years for various tournaments and reasons because he, he has been playing a lot of tournaments um, pre-COVID and uh, I thought he was playing like majority of the year of the time he was playing aggressive I don't even know why I slurred the word majority of the yeah, time do you want to try that again? Yeah. yeah it was pretty bad <laughs> wasn't it? well he had two beers as well that's a it's a tough break isn't it? I think he, this one passes to the middle does it? Yellow. Yeah, you think it passes to the middle past the other yellow, or you think it's in the way? Uh, I think it goes. If not, he's only got the long one uh, just below uh, the spot. And he's, he's actually got to be careful here because if he actually takes a pot and misses, the reds are actually all there. Mm. So, man, it's one of those breaks, like, it's just, if you just put me on a ball. Yeah, he's taking this on. He's played that well. It's a good shot. Tough shot at dead weight. I think he's forced to take the ball over the hole now. He's not on the oh, he's going he's to gonna push the red up the rail. Oh, stop it. Oh, Travis, you soft cock. Have a go. <laughs> It's a good shot, don't get me wrong, it's a good uh, shot. It's a good shot, okay, let's be honest, let's not bag the bloke too much. It is a good shot, it's a winning shot, but you just want him to have a go there, don't you? <laughs> it might as well be JJ's cut break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't letting him get away with that. <laughs> I, had to ask, I had to say something about that. Uh, even though I knew what he was up to, but I still had to give him a serve. The red near the, the, the yellow is in the right corner. That's it's. What's, what's he doing with it? Can he can he get into it? Get it out? Is he gonna create trouble for Trevor? Or? See, for me, it's it's actually a hard ball to kick out. With where the reds are. 
Only because like, you'd like to get on a ball in the middle, come off side rail and into it, but the two yellows don't even make it one in, on in the middle. Uh, that's I mean, straight, that's, that's, that, that's a lovely shot, but to what end? I think he's going to create trouble for Travis. I'm going to try and kick it out. Well, it looks like he's just got to drop this in. Just make sure he's not hard up on the rail. He's got the ball top left. I think he'll clear the first. Red and Cannon the second. Jeez, he had tons of angle on that. He just queued that that well. That was a beautiful shot. I'm still surprised he just queued. It's about 56 inches. Is that? And he's like 6 foot 9. Yeah, yeah he's 12 foot. Yeah. It's, it's, 12 it's, foot. <laughs> I've not noticed that. Oh, it's, it's, oh it's, yeah, it's you're right. He's short on him, isn't it? it? It's phenomenal. But it just works for him. Yeah, even his even his queuing is quite. Yeah, that's what I thought. Going to create some trouble. Oh, oh yeah, I think he's happy that doesn't go in. Yeah. Even though he's in worse trouble, but yeah. if it goes in, it just leaves an open pocket, and he's out for sure. So. That is asked a question. That's first and second prize. Four grand second, sec Four two. grand second. Oh, first, sorry. <laughs> I heard the top eight get 8,000 each. <laughs> In fact, I think the I think the winner of this gets two bucks and a, and a McDonald's voucher. Second prize gets a KFC family feast voucher. The semis get, they get a all you can eat steakhouse voucher. And the quarter finalists get 8,000 each. So what a great tournament I've had. <laughs> so he's, he's laid it up. He's, um, I don't think B should create some trouble for him in the top right corner. I'll play the one in the middle of the table and try and smother everything. He's, he's going to give him two, but what's he... There's no way you can give him two here. Not, not in this particular shot, but there's a visit maybe though. Well, what are the choices he's got? He's got, he's got the red. The, the red doesn't go beyond the yellow, does it? No. Oh, he's going to try and play safety. Oh, he's okay. So I think he's, he's, he's actually going to smother the yellow. See, when you when you do the double ball smother and you know what's coming, you just that's when you actually smash him out of there. Like the yellows, like you can play yellow and yellow, just smash him out. Because he's got a backup ball over the hole, he's, he's going to have a lot of options. You need to be really unlucky not to keep the clearance. So if I'm Trav here, hmm. I'm going to I'm going to smash that out. I'm not going to leave them there because you know what's coming. Well, he's, he's, he's got to do something with it now. But the good the good shot about how Biggs has played that is you can't play it now. You can't get to it. So he's got to he's got to make a pot first. Is it on? Is there the one? Is it on to the right middle? No, it's not. No, I think he's only got the long one yeah. to the bottom right. So now I think I do believe now he will punch the right hand side of the yellow. So it forces across the left hand side of the table and then he can stun off the side rail and land, try and land sort of centre table. That way he's got a choice of balls, the bottom right or the one in the right middle. And never mind anything of what I just said because he's not even playing it. So I'm interested in the, in the thought process and the game plan here because to me that's just eliminating a potential backup ball and he's kind of in the same spot so so I still think that shot I said earlier is still going to get played I just don't understand why he's played the bottom ball eliminated at first he doesn't like it well the the, the, the yellow that's, that's out in the open is still awkward to get to well, I think he can play the right-hand side of the yellow, punch it off the side rail, the white, bring it back to centre table. Mm. He doesn't want to pull the... But you know why he pulled the white there is he's given Biggs no chance mm. to take the pocket. And that's a smart shot. 
Uh, the red still goes under the red near the you know, right in the pocket. I reckon Beggs is going to play this two ball plant, try and just flick the red that's really close to the jaw, pop the yellow, bring the white ball around the angles, and even only leave him on that yellow. Because that yeah. yellow, how hard will that yellow beat him? Even if he overcuts it, I mean, does he still come back to the side of the table? This end of the table. The only thing go wrong really is Faust Snooker. But he can't, he can't play yellow on red on yellow. I think it'll, it'll create too much gap with the yellow again. You want that yellow to stay there. That's why playing the outside red onto the you other red. You don't want to leave him on that yellow. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. He's playing the red. I don't, no, I don't like it. No, no. But once yeah, again... Yeah, the smash -ups. No, I don't think it will. I don't think it will because it's too close. It's hard to it's hard to actually smash this because you're so close to it. Yeah, so. But if you don't do it now, you're going to be doing it left with potentially. And that's why Beggs has played the Chinese on it because it's just limited in his options. He, didn't, he obviously didn't like that cut, so he's just biding his time a bit. This could go in. Yeah, that's a good shot. We know he's not playing the black onto it. <laughs> he's, he's not going to he's going to hit him now. I, I, I think he's got himself into trouble, like mm. potential trouble because of the... Um, he's got very limited options now. Yeah. But do you know why he's gotten rid of it? It's because the first move comes into play with more chance yeah, of one. Already, yeah. He's oh, kicked it out. Sure. Wow, that's, that's his worst shot. result of all time. That's a good result. You like, you like that going in, do you? I, I probably why the black's so in the open. I, I want that up on the table because you can't foul and give you two shots and you can't clear. So now he's just going to create all this horrible traffic, and we're going to see a, a fair few push arounds. In fact, you know what? The more I'm looking at this, yeah, no, nah, it's actually impossible for that red to come out. So I don't think I think Travis cannot win this frame, uh, cannot lose this frame unless Biggs does something with the black, or well, Travis makes a big error at the commitment stage. But I don't think that red comes out. I don't think he can draw the yellow. Yeah, the goes in every day. I honestly, I think it's hard up against the jaw. I just don't mm. see a way for this red to come out. I think it's that deep. That's why I would have played that two ball plan earlier. I really think that was the shot. All this mess that he's in now would not be there. Obviously you need to be right at the table to really know what's going on, but from what I'm watching on the camera, that red is so deep that it can't not contact the yellow and then it can't not pot it. So if I'm Travis, I'd probably just open up the red, like the one that's high of the yellow. I just double it to the bottom rail. So look at this. This looks good. Ab view, this looks absolutely dead. That red, like un unextractable, and and no way to not pot the yellow if you make any contact with the red. So the red's a little higher, maybe. Is that or is that red on the rail? I think they're both touching the rail, but I think the yellow's so deep in the jaws that you just can't make contact with it where it won't pot it. So if I'm Travis here, yeah, I'm just you know what, I'm going to double this red, open the yellow up, and say hey. I can pot it now. I'm half tempted to pot the yellow, the, sorry, the red over the bottom left. So the one that's higher of the two, just double it to the side, cushion to the back rail, uh, yeah. and open the yellow up, yeah, and yeah. I don't think you can go again. I really, I am, I'm a very firm belief that this red will not kick out without fouling. <laughs> so my whole game plan here is... Just give yourself a chance. Well, he can't win the frame, mm -hmm. so you might as well just start eliminating his balls or opening up the frame for yourself. Now, and he's just done nothing. Now the reason, so because he's done that, that kind of tells me that he thinks that it kicks out. Because hmm. he, he did have a look at it, and he's he kind of queued look. up, so maybe it does kick out. Or at least, you know, if it doesn't kick out in the first shot, he might be able to create some room using one shot. But this is where, like, you just want to get up and say, guys, hang on a sec, just want to have a quick look at the table. <laughs> <laughs> So we Stop can, the clock. So we can just uh, have a better, better idea of what's really going on out there. 
but I just think the fact that Travis has restricted the one shot. Oh, look at this. This is bad. It's almost bad. And one thing I can promise you, you will not see Travis too, and that will be put the white ball at the bottom end of the table. No, correct. Because he does not want Beaks to be able to bring the black up. So I'm Beaks here, I'm trying to do something with the black, you know, like bring it somehow, I can bring it down the other end of the table, get it near that pack, force Travis to hit it out. But the timing is everything, and they're, they're, they're both trying to, one's trying to avoid it, and one's trying to trying to get amongst it, but got to go to the right time. Back on the rail, yep. So this could go on for a while, this, depending on really what the deal is with this red. So now Big's having a look at it. <laughs> I don't know. They, they look like they're touching it. It looks like a train wreck for Big's. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm actually looking at it from here. I reckon it might have been. No. I'll tell you what. If you clear the red, it's high. If you smash the red just to the left-hand side, you might draw them. But mm. I just, I just think it's that deep, that yellow, that it won't come out. Dan's going for a look at it. Yeah, he's going to go suss it out. <laughs> We've got floor walker Dan on, on the job. I oh, know he's trolled he's, us. He's going Cut for the <laughs> What tell us on the way back? I think he tried to have a glimpse, but we would have been 10 metres away. Oh, All right, so he's kicked it out. So it must, it must, it must. Because he knows he's got a snooker here with the red on the bottom, bottom end of the table. You can just drop it over the pocket. Yeah, but Trav's only going to drop it anyway. He's not going to let that, that red sit there. I agree. So what you do is you. You play in such a way where it hits the bottom rail and goes to the top to the side rail, oh, so, so it's not potable. Yeah. yeah. Or you cut it thin, but then you risk fouling because it's a trickier shot. But yeah, you're right. You, you must have some plan in mind for that red, otherwise, why would you get the other one? Yeah. So. Exactly. Uh. So I think you're right. I think Trav will pop this red. I'll just give more options for the black when he's when he's when he gets on. Could play the black down because you know the black on red isn't there anymore. It's got to be doubt in that in that red and yellow. Mate, I've, I've clearly just misread this because <laughs> they are both they the way they have played this frame. They both believe something can happen mm. with that red. So but I, I think this is the right shot. He doesn't want to leave him on the red, does he? No, I think. I think he's, he's yeah, 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 he wanted to be. That's a good shot. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Can he get? Can he get on the right hand side of the red to get to the red over the hole? Well, he's down quick. Well, we're gonna we're gonna find he's down out. Quick. No. <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> It's a good shot. Yeah. I'm still, I will still believe that red's dead. I don't yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure. No, I think you're probably right, mate. Because, like I said, they've both played shots to suggest that there is something going on there. It's got to be iffy. Trace, you've got to be it's careful like a snooker. Oh look, we're oh. where we were about five <laughs> shots ago. He's, 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 he's with two shots. He's not living on that red next to the yellow, so there must be something there. He can't get through to it now, can he? I don't think so. Well, maybe he can. No. Nah. It'll be easy if you can see the future. Yeah. <laughs> oh, everyone, like basically, I think what 
people at home will be thinking is, well, whatever I say, you know it's the opposite. It's not always the case. Oh, a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a top view, sorry, Lee. Oh, yeah, he's going. Wow. No, I think he's just going to rest he's a heart up on it. Yeah, behind him. See, see how that moved then? Like, all it did was hit the jaw. Yeah. I, I, now I think it's even worse. Yeah, really oh, this, I'm, I'm going for a walk. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go and stop play. <laughs> I'm not really. Oh, it's on. Is it on? Oh. Uh, where's the umpire? It's... Can, can you imagine? <laughs> Do you know what? This is how I play, this is how I play the shot. Let if that red is not on, right? Have a free swing at this, but aim wide, so you know you're not going to foul. But you, if you pot it, if you hit it, you're going to pot it. But if not, you miss it clean, and it's still two shots. Then nothing changes. Yeah. yeah. You just got to be careful that you're off here. Oh, it was on easy. Yeah. Oh wait, he's actually big, that cool ball. Yeah. He played. He's, it he's up. played right as well, so he's fell on by a long ball. Yeah, exactly. Right, don't move those balls. I want to have a look at this. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. I don't know. You need to know where the yellow was. <laughs> it was still iffy. <laughs> We're never going to know until we talk to both of them. And I don't want to interrupt their uh, concentration. So. Good to have a frame like that too, because that one, that one was an interesting frame. I think we'll see a few more of them before the before the match is finished. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh. Oh, uh, that's not a good start. Don't seem to do that very often. Right off the table. I was just updating the score. I missed that. Yeah, right off the table. Guaranteed, Dan. That frame completed courtesy of Dan going to the bar. <laughs> did, it, uh, did he have a look on the way to the tour, though? So Travis going to go reds. I think they're the right balls. Two shots. I would actually be putting this a little less angle than this. Unless he's going to play it long and then he's going to, no, going to play it long. Yeah. If he sits over the hole, he uses his second shot to take reds. Yeah, he's just That's taking control. That's what I mean. He's going to tighten those screws as yeah. much as possible. He hasn't covered the pocket though. He hasn't blocked that yellow. You know what? If he was going to always do that, why not? Give himself more angle so he could land really neatly on this red. Good point. <coughs> yeah. so he doesn't risk looks missing like, it. Looks like a waste of a shot now. Well, he doesn't want to risk missing it, which I think is the wrong attitude. But look at this, he's got safety on the yellow now. Love and What a result that is. Loads up, doesn't get near the amount of purchase he wanted on it. That's because he's hit it so hard, so the white ball's thrown the opposite direction of what he wanted. I think he still goes, but... He's, 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 he's going to cover the black. Go in. <laughs> Scott, is like, Scott is like, I don't want more, more tactics. <laughs> Oh, I'm biased, I'm going for these. I'm biased for the speed of this match to finish. <laughs> I just feel like it's too much safety, that's what you deserve. Yeah, well, Travis has won a lot of things over the years playing this style of play, so... Red on the bottom row. That's 
The bees will just drop in a little drop snooker here. Dead weight drop snooker. Is it the red and the, oh, sorry, the yellow and the, and the right middle go as it goes in? Yeah, I reckon yeah. it slides in. He might, he might have the ball in the middle to get the extraction on the yellow too. Okay, he's trying to get the, the, the yellow and the black now, isn't he? Oh, okay. <coughs> what was he playing for there? He was trying to get onto the yellow. He played the, in the, the middle. Of the black. Why not go up and down and get, get mm. on the right hand side of it? But I don't think the, the, the bottom right red goes, is it? I thought it did. Yeah. It's a lovely shot. Good news, bad news. Has covered the pocket. So now he's got to play a good shot. Because he's actually got to screw back there and play it. Actually, where does this no, go? Does it go in the middle? Left middle? Oh, yeah, what am I talking about? Off the yellow. Didn't even see that. Thanks, mate. Too many beers. Nah, not enough. Oh, he's done up again. Dirty, dirty man. I suppose the transition to that shot to the black was tricky too. But you just suck back a little bit. Yeah, just give yourself the angle to go mm. to the right side of the table. All right, let's do it. He's 2-0 up. Let's have a Travis bashing session. <laughs> <laughs> have a go, you useless. I reckon B's going to eat these up. Does it get behind it? Yeah, he goes inside. He's going to have a dip. It's a good shot. Oh, yeah, he's been yeah. stiff. No, no he's, he's okay. He's right. I think he would have loved to have been on that next. Well, there's that... I just want to I just want to deal with his <coughs> ball near the bike as soon as possible. Mm. <coughs> yeah, you're right, Scotty. He still likes this the idea of that ball in the middle. Maybe if it's second last, <coughs> if you get all fat, it's, it's but he's one. Uh, Bounce. <coughs> Not that much. <coughs> oh, you'll be oh, hoping be that's touching. touching. Yeah. Uh, can we go the third umpire for this one? <laughs> There's no way Trav's not getting up to check this. <laughs> yeah, get out of my way. I'll, I'll, make, I'll put my hand on the table, my elbow, and move the table yeah. a bit with my hand to make sure it's not touching. Oh. He's saying no. no. Oh, He's like, okay, yes. Okay. He goes, I started with my hand above the table. <laughs> Notice they were touching, so I put my arm on the table just to shift it a little bit, and that just separated them. No, Jono's under the it. If, if, that, if, if, if someone's going to sort it out, Jono will sort it out. He's got, the, he's got the flashlight out. Is there some light between them? <laughs> do we have Do we have x-ray vision and all that sort of stuff, and ultra vision and whatever ultras we can get? <laughs> Was a call. What happened? What was the call? It was a skip. Anyone with the call? Oh, we're going to know by the shot he plays. I'm going to go not touching. I'm going to agree with you because he's looking at how to yeah. hit this. But <coughs> he does have the chance to, to, to put it into play more. Oh, absolutely. I think the flick off the bottom side. You're looking for the gap, aren't you? <laughs> You're looking for the light. That's, yeah, no, that's, that's a good way to tell. There's a bounce. Oh, that's that's. It's not bad. Yeah. He's, he's got the he's, he's he's put the pressure back on him. Well, you'd rather leave him on the bottom right than the one on the left, mm. where he can stun across. So this is thin. He's gonna get. He's coming around, is he? Yeah. Is he looking around? for a safety? No, he's coming around the angles, I reckon. Do you think he can't drop that in and hold? I don't think he, he thinks he can. Uh, he's definitely playing the angles. Is he loading this up with side too? Yeah. He's just making the shot so hard. Oh wow, he chicken winged that heavily. Oh, then it's gone. You know what, I'm going to say it, this is the Travis bashing frame. Deserved every <laughs> bit of that. Absolute horrible uh, shot. Horrible, the, horrible the choice of, of shot. Horrible option, horrible execution. Horrible... I don't know. Think of something else. 
Oh, that's enough. <clears throat> we love you, Trev. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll see a different, the, the big runs these out, and you'll see a different big next frame. Oh, you should get him. Mm, still questionable, that one. Look, I'll tell you what, even if it's dodgy, get on the red in the middle, yeah. and just stun it so you can play the little half ball knockoff, mm. the quarter ball knockoff. And the shot. Yeah, yeah, drop it in. Yeah, we've got a few people in the room now. Seats are full. You can't you can't tell because everyone's behind the camera. Yeah, no, that's good. Right. You could even play the left middle and still do the <coughs> come around and do the shot you said. Yeah, he's just deciding now whether it, it's viable to leave it till last, or whether he feels he can knock it out and use. I like this shot better. Oh, jeez, I'm going to play it like that, but that's all right. I think. Yeah. I don't know about it this. It doesn't leave the Do you, do you play it really what? thin? Do you just play it really thin and just like bump it yeah. so that both they both sort of come out over the middle? Yeah, because you're going to play into the door anyway. But imagine so it's going to carry up. Imagine if he misses and it slides to the other side of the table. Yeah, that's the shot. Yeah. That, that was the shot. Like. Oh, go the kids queue. So the junior queue. Have a hit with it, mate. <laughs> Have a hit with it. <laughs> I'm not 12 foot tall, though. <laughs> he must be 48 kilo dripping wet, too, but he's not an ounce of fat on him. Uh, while they're waking up those balls, we'll have the start of the Q Power Play Grand Final. It's a race to six. And the two guys that got through are John Cloudy. Hey, go on there, baby. Is it really? Fuck off, serious. What are we going to do? What are we going to do, though? Over there, up there. Right. Robbie Savage is the other competitor. Well done, Robbie. Got through. Uh, uh, have a good game, guys. Race to six. We'll put a bit of streaming on there when we can fit it in. And, uh, Another time. Uh, what does that mean again? Such is life. Such is life. She's French teacher as well. <laughs> what's, 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 what's such is life in French? Say so. Oh, yeah. Oh, everything everywhere. Uh, He's put a ball, hasn't he? I don't think that. No. No, he hasn't. He hasn't either, Jesus. Yeah. He's under the red. The red on the, on the, on the left, left bottom cushion. What's, what's he going to do there? He's looking to play that, that red off the yellow, which pushes the black over to his other red in the bottom right. So I like it. I like red. It's just the, the, the red in the bottom left, bottom left rail. What's he, what's he going to do? Yeah, I can see the table, and I reckon you land in the right spot. That is potable. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so I reckon. I don't reckon he needs an extraction. Or I reckon that red goes clean if you just land in the right spot on the table for it. So push the, push the black over. Rid of the table somewhere. I like how he's played that as well, so he can get through the through the, uh, the all the balls in the classroom. He sort of gets centre table and give himself more options. Mm. <laughs> Even though he's stunning it. I would have let the white travel there myself. He's just restricting himself to a single ball now. That, that red in the middle of the table is not, not the easiest one either. No, you're right. Let's go to the bottom right, top right side. The, tra the transition is actually ugly now. At least he's, I mean, he's managed to get the black over to his, his turf because he owns that pocket. <coughs> Thank you.
unless he takes the, the top ball and he comes back and takes the bottom right on, you know, and then really has a go. <laughs> Fairman the snooker. Not ideal. And I think he's on the bottom ball where the black is. No, are you committing that one? The there is a clearance still there. The problem with it though is the white ball does actually need to be completely pin perfect. Because if you can get pretty straight on the ball to the top left corner in the middle of the table and, and draw back to, I don't know, probably just below the spot mm. or a little lower, then you've got the, the chop on the red. But it's 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 really tough, and that's no, why he's going to tie it up. Yeah, and that's why he's elected to foul. So now it's going to be a Chris Beagley bashing session because he's he's <laughs> um. Hey, it's in there. <laughs> he's slowing the game down, Beagles is. Well, he's not a bad tactician either. I'm sure he wants to give Travis. No, we're going to bash medicine. him for it. <laughs> okay, fair call. <laughs> Stacks of work for Trav to do here. It wouldn't surprise me if he actually tried to find a way to tie um, tie the red up that's on the cushion and then play a foul where he only leaves him on the other red and then the way you can't get him all out in two shots and pot the black as well. So we might see him pot this and then try and tie the yellow up of the red. He's going to tie this pot up, and then I reckon he's going to pot the red in the corner. Oh. He's going for the extraction, is he? No, yeah. he's tying. He's doing your oh, yeah, eye Okay, he's doing it that way. Yeah, That's a better he's, way. He's going to pot the red. It's all about control, isn't I, it? I don't know if I'd pot the red. I think I'd more likely play the yellow onto the red. <coughs> you don't want you don't oh, want you him would, to have... Ideally, you would have, yeah. You don't because want him to have access to that ball straight away, because you can just kick it out in one. He's and a bit, then he's a bit low then to, to play the, the, the company or I think it, was, it could be close to Liverpool second. It was a bit higher, but yeah. No, I think he'd be all right. I think he'll be stiff to leave the foul snooker because well, he's probably going to cannon the other yellow. But if it leave us out, yeah. yeah. What he's elected to do here is just make sure. Get this one out here. Jeez, I don't know, I'll tell you what, if I'm big here, I almost, I almost play the red into the right hand side of the, sorry, the yellow into the right hand side of the red, so it pushes the yellow to the right side of the table, and just try and open this up a bit, while you've got so much cover on the right side mm. of the table. Yeah, if you've got to gain control of the, the, the first opportunity, don't you? Yeah. You can't leave it there because yeah. as soon as Travis gets a chance to put yellow onto red and not leave him on that ball, he'll take it straight away. Is there a double on here? You're going to try and pick the gap, no? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to say I do not mm. like that shot. Now, now, now you can pull the red. Mm. You can pot it outright. Very quick. Yeah. Come up the table a little bit if you don't want to leave them on the, on the, yeah, on the left. The absolutely. Side. Or even better, screw to the left side rail where you don't leave a double angle. And then you can put in all sorts of hurt. Yeah, he's doing your shot. Look, I, I like it and I don't like it. The reason I like it. Because well, this out's no one want, no one is going to enjoy, <laughs> but it gives him a chance still. He, I think he wanted to get the white ball a little further up too, because he might be able to get to this. I think bottom he can, but even if he can, uh... now I remember this table having a roll on it. I can't remember which way it went. Out, because <laughs> he hit that pretty good, and he. And this is where before, like I said, if he if he disturbed the, the, the red and the yellow down the bottom left, he would have had half a chance now. Yeah, absolutely. 
And you, it's not like you can just smash this out now. No, it's just going nowhere in a hurry. And it leaves Travis a clearance because all these balls are on. So he's, he's got the, the red in the top right and then, and, and then what? Yeah, I, I don't even see a way out of this frame anymore. Off, off, off the bottom rail, kick it back up to the red. Yeah, it's not a bad shot, it's tough. But he's going to try and get some kind of extraction or movement. Jeez, he got a lot of gear on that. Jesus. This, this looks worse. I don't, don't see where this goes. No, he's going to try and produce some kind of face cut off the black or the yellow. Yeah. <laughs> right. We've got replay, mate. You're good. <laughs> We've got replay. It's all good. You're already getting it set up, aren't you, Dan? <laughs> he's under the... He's going to smash it, so... That was not a foul, so he's all right there. Well, I'll tell you what. If you oh, could have, he's, he's, he's not bad if you could have, if you could have said, would you be happy with this result oh, after you played the shot? Ecstatic would be the word. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what a sick result. I mean, he's still in a world of hurt, but. <laughs> The balls earlier were like unbelievably easy. Now they're they're not fun. <coughs> all Travis is doing here is he's looking for a safety. Uh, where's, where's the best one? Yeah, that's all he's. Doing. He's gonna. I think he's gonna pot this yellow first. Or he's trying to work ahead of deal with that yellow. I don't think it leaves him bottom end. I mean, what, what's he going to do with it? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I don't think it doubles on. There's no cut on. There's no triple on. He's going to pop. He might put this over the hole, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it was, he, he's come to the same conclusion. There's nothing he can do with this red, so he's just going to leave him there and hope that he smashes it and then opens up your Travis Yellow or something. <clears throat> if, he's, if he's tapping it, it's still all bad. You should kill the black, maybe kill the yellow, maybe, but the red's still dead. What's he looking at? He's trying to kill balls now. What about this shot? This is delirious, but what about... Actually, it's not even on. I think the black's on. I was going to say um, chop it to the side rail off the top of that side of the black and try and dump it off the black into the middle. No, but I think, I think the... Yeah, that's yeah. exactly right, yeah. Oh, double kiss, that was that was clean too, I reckon. Oh, stop it. Oh, he's got the ball over the hole, so he's... Yeah. I mean, still though, you feel a bit sick <laughs> when you get left that. You think, oh, I could have been anywhere here. Look at this. Still could have been worse than that, though. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> this is very like, you played this yellow up there, it would have been sat right in the pocket. I'd, I'd, I hate putting all the balls in the pockets. Yeah, Travis is just going to oh, get this. no. No, he's going to flick off it, and then I think he's going to come yeah. off the side rail and then bounce the yellow out. Yeah, 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 it's a good shot. He executes it right. Oh. No, it wasn't there. Yeah. But he's got the total. Totally, yeah. <laughs> Straight away. <laughs> yeah, he's got the total. We're going to pot up one of these ones. I got, actually, I did too. 84, I think it was. <laughs> uh, I've had you. about 480 goes of it since. I haven't got it once, but 84, I got one of these. <laughs> See where I was born, Jamie. Show me age. Actually, that I would have been nine. <laughs> so no, it wasn't. It wasn't eight. It might have been 94. Uh, not a How often? I kid you. How often uh, do you get often. out of a snooker and go in off? Too often. 
I think she's sick. Well, is he yellow on the right hand side, close to back, is that the last one? Or is he, or is he gonna, is he gonna you can get a mouth? Look, oh, whatever he does with it, I reckon he's gonna waste one and just bounce it, and then the mm -hmm. way he just leaves them all pretty straightforward. But he might even bounce in such a way where he kicks it black at the mm -hmm. same time. But he doesn't, he doesn't have a real basic linking ball, so. Now, if he really wants to. Yeah, I think he's looking up. Mm. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know if it's there. I don't think it's there. I think he's just going to keep it simple. He's just going to bump it last and. hesitant about to get rid of it last. Yeah, me too. But if it's <laughs> if it links yeah. to the black, then I'm not as hesitant. Guaranteed I'm not likely to, to screw it up when it's the last ball or two shots. If I could pick a spot where I wanted the white when I'm promoting it, it would be pretty much just to the left of the black so I can overcut the pot and just keep the white ball centre of the table. And then I've just got a nice little rolling. Mm. Mm. And you can actually land similar to He might even go for a county, but you'd be off your head to do that. And as, he's, as I say, he does it. I just don't think that was necessary. This could have ended pretty bad. I, I mean, actually think he tried it. I think he tried it the black at the pace he hit it. It's a good shot. He's actually, I think he's feeling all right, Trav. He's killing uh, the ball quite nice. He's, 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 like I said, he's so hungry to, to win this match. So there you go. That's what happens when Trav gets two shots. He just goes bang, 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 bang. <laughs> well, this is better than the Snickers Snickers either. <laughs> well, that's true. Well, back to Trav bashing. I think that, that particular clearance, a lot of, if you asked, I don't know, 20 people what order and what sequence you take in these balls, you might get about four or five different answers because there were a lot of variables, a lot of choices. A lot of people would have tried to deal with that yellow early. It depends on how you feel as well, at the time. I That's right. Well. I, I, I know for 100% I would never have played that cannon at the end. Although that was insane, but it worked out alright, so. What do we know? Yeah. Oh, oh, get ahead of it. So, initial look at the table will tell me that reds... Every day. <laughs> no way are you playing it from there, Trav. Surely he's going to put that, like, higher up the table. Hold my beer, James. Is, is that really straight? <laughs> Oh, he's going to stun off the back rail, is he? He's going to stun off the back rail and get behind the other one on the left side of the table. No, no he's, he's... It looks like he's got like a million... No, he's going through it. Looks like he's got tons of angle. <laughs> he's not stunning. Is this seriously he? straight? He's not stunning, yeah. Okay, never mind me. Oh, hang on. Oh, he's got... Wow. Wow. <laughs> I think he's got a little bit of angle, but not much. As long as he can get toward, like, if he can screw back to the, just the centre pocket, he's got the, um... Actually, does that pass yeah, that? That's a, oh, right sure. to the right corner, past the yellow? Yeah, maybe just. Oh, someone, don't, don't show foul trap yet. You're not the slimmest bloke in the room, but, uh... Negotiated with ease. Yeah, it must go. Oh, he's looking. I don't think it does go. If it doesn't go, that's a terrible shot. Well, look, honestly, I have to believe it does because yeah. it's the only thing he's played for, really. <coughs> no, he's got the other red on the right inside, but still. No, 
I've got to believe it goes. But he's having a good look at it now. He hasn't looked at it before. He didn't look at it before, did he? I, had a, I think he had a cursory glance at it and just figured, oh, yeah, that goes. And then he's got close with it. Oh, hang on. <laughs> it, 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 must, it must be tight. Oh, he's made the decision it goes. What's that little is, right? Is, is yeah, what was that all about? No, he's, right. he's, he's very indecisive. But it's good that he got up. He doesn't yeah. like it. Yeah. It's good that he got up off the shot. A lot of people just play it anyway. Oh, did you, 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 I don't know about you, but when I want to get these positions and I'm indecisive about one to the next, it just, it just creates a whole bunch of almost anxiety. And honestly, what, what you do is you see where you're standing there, you actually take a stroll around the other side of the table and reset your composure and then make a decision again, like start again. Even if he just drops it in, he's, he's still on. You don't have to... Oh my God, that flew in. <laughs> <laughs> that flew in. Hey, he made it. He made us worried. Screw off, off the side rail here. No. I th think I actually don't think he got into that, but I think his intention was to screw in the side rail and back out, and then he can just play the little drop in and the last one in the middle because it's automatically on the black. This is a control shot. Can he can he hold off, off the left side rail? I think he can. I think it's a little stun shot off a side mm. rail would be okay. It's just about pace. It's a, a lot more difficult than it needs to be. A little bit of a bit of right. Yeah. Well, I think you just play a plain ball. It's all about the bounce off the cushion. You, you start playing with side, you might check it and kill the white. He hasn't, he's under hit it badly. Mm. And those particular shots, whenever you play them and you think, oh, I've got to always hit them a touch harder. Always, because you've got to allow for that bounce to just kill things a little bit. I mean, pretty rare you'll get a, a big bounce. It, 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 like said, it now makes it so much harder. I mean, it's, it's... And, and the other thing you've got to ask yourself as well is, is it better to go too far or not far enough? And Every in this time. case, it was too far. This goes in the middle, though. What a great shot. What the hell would I know? Maybe he played for that whole time and he, and he overhit it. Because <laughs> that was a good shot. He's moving a lot, eh? He moved a lot, that shot. Yeah, you can see him killing. He's kind of moving around. He's doing a bit of a Mark Selby, but not that bad. But oh, he's chicken winged it. He's wow. chicken winged it. Wow. He chicken winged oh. it. Yeah, Give us a replay, Dan. You'll just see the little chicken wing pop out there at the end where he didn't really commit. Didn't commit. And he's dirty. He's very, very dirty. And this is a good lesson for kids that are learning, and well, actually put, anyone really. Put the ball in the hole. But you will see, Beggs will take a while to work out what he's doing. You will watch, watch the chicken wing pop out to the left. What? Here it goes. Actually, I didn't see that then. It, 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 didn't, it didn't, didn't get through it at all. You just, just didn't want to go through it. I thought there was a chicken wing there. It wasn't as bad. As, it didn't look as bad in replay. Hang on. Oh, it comes out a little bit. A little but bit. But he didn't, it just didn't go through it at all. I, I, thought he, I thought he nearly elbowed the camera. That's, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be filthy. Yeah, well, I think the other reason he was going to be filthy is because he knew he was going to be in a snooker where he couldn't get out of it easily because the up and down was going to get cut off. I, I, don't, I don't think it's just that. He's, he's, he's played that shot very unconfidently. And that, but he's going to say, why not, go, why not yeah, punch it in? Yeah, why not stun it in? Because that's how, like, 99% of the time he'd play it. That's the psychology part of it. But he's looking at it going, yeah, hey, I've got you, mate. Even though Trevor loves these frames. And that's probably the right shot given the circumstances. And every single black ball player watching this will absolutely be hating on that <laughs> shot. Like hating it like it's like it's basically committing a crime. Yeah, I've never learned the rules to be honest. Ah uh, look it's very contentious at the moment. The uh, 
the hate that the black ball players have for the two shot rules now. And that, that tactical frame we had earlier where they had the balls in the hole and that, mm. the black ball players would have been hating on that really hard. I appreciate both formats of the game for what they are. And he's going for a bit extra cover. In actual fact, I think so far that's been the most enjoyable frame to be commentating. There's a bit to talk about. We just need to know where that red and yellow was sitting. I'm, it's the only thing I'm <laughs> filthy about, mate. <laughs> Still filthy about it, to be honest. <laughs> 17 camera angles. I needed to be right once. Mm. Didn't want to be on the no. rail. So he's, he's got good cover there, but it was one rail, one rail out. I'll tell you what, it's it's a lear, it's a learnt thing that the the old one you know pot a ball one cushion go to the second cushion and then off again. It's it's actually a learnt mm. thing. I'll tell you someone that's really good at not landing on the rail like that and playing the two cushion shot is Tim Dixon. Mm. It's it, it's he it's I don't know it's in his brain to not do it. I've noticed it all the time. He rarely lands on the side rails, and he just plays those shots well and. It, there are a number of other players do it well as well, but it's for me, it's just something I notice. He rarely puts himself in that position. I sort of started picking that up more when I started playing nine ball. I think I think how it happens is you, you you're so focused on just making sure you get the pot that you forget about the white ball element. Mm. And all someone like Tim does is goes, well, I just have to hit this a bit harder. Just just a touch harder. Yeah. yeah. Because he, he, he's already like, yep, OK, pot this, just hit it a bit harder. But, but you're right, everyone's so concentrated on the pot, they just they don't think about it at all. Absolutely. It just destroys you when you leave yourself on the rail. Oh, I don't like that. I think this is gettable. I think, no, I don't know about the gap between not, the yellows. Not true, it's off rail. the rail, yeah. <laughs> well, I think this is very gettable. But it's close in the pocket, though, so you might be worried about finding it in. If you're going to leave a snooker there, you actually want the white ball like just below the bulk line, or higher the bulk line, sorry. So, you know, high end of the table, because mm. the, the natural cross table's not there. I don't think he needs your side or anything, I think he just gets, gets to get the line right. And honestly, like... You may as well have a go now. There's no way you can really put the white where he's not going to be able to get the double kick out in one shot and go game. So you may as well have a go. Well, again, with the right pace, you're going to be down near, near the pop in the black anyway. Yeah, that's right. I mean, he's, no matter what happens here, Beggs is going to play the double kick out first shot. So he's going. I think he has to. He's putting it looks to like, yeah, it looks like he's loading it up. I just like to play and ball myself. Oh, actually, hang on. The playing ball's not there because of that red over the middle. I think it's just chopping off the natural angle. That's why he's got to use a bit of side. Because I think you've got to get fairly close to the middle pocket. So you go high. Played it well. Played it well. You can't leave those one railers, you just, you just can't. The second that left that side rail, you knew it was in. Mm. How many times have you seen people do, you know, leave the one rail, one rail, it's just, you can't do it. Yeah, against quality players, you can't, one rail's not good enough. Two rails sometimes aren't good enough. Yeah, sometimes. You're right, thanks for pointing that out, Dan. I didn't notice that, it's pretty poor of me. What was Look that? at Travis Crawley's name in the um, in his little box that he's got there for his name. It's not lined up perfectly. There's too much gap on the left side to compare to the right. Whereas Beggs' name is perfectly centred. <laughs> Let Trav's OCD take care of that. No, it's me. I'm I'm gone now. I'm going. Just going to keep looking at that. Oh, I'm <laughs> Wow, that's a big break. Yeah. Mm. He wants reds, but the open is tough. Well, there's, a, there's a tough open on yellows as well, so. Yeah. 
Or does he go reds and just play a snooker straight away? Well, even if he doesn't get the sneaker, if he, if he, if he lands near the, 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 the two breads near the, the left middle, you've left almost no shot. Actually, you know what I'm doing? I'm <coughs> playing the red that's the furthest from the middle, so that little four ball. Mm -hmm. I'm playing the one that's t most to the right. I'm going to play to the top corner. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I think you get a, a delicate little kiss on the red. wouldn't move it too much. Oh, oh, he's going yellows. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the problem is, the bees are going to take yellows now as well. <coughs> they've, they've become better. No, you can't take yellows. It's close though. Oh, you're right, you've hold one. Never mind. Oh, that would have been the ultimate reason for his choice. Mm. Just because he was already, already on him. But whether he's left the... He, he pushed the, the, the red and the right down to the... I don't think he meant that, did he? No. It's landed nice for him though. Yeah, he couldn't have got a better white too. It's left it tough. That's missed. Yeah. Could be a bit of golf left in this frame. Nice that he's cleared the red there, so he's got good access to the white ball. But he needs to. Normally, I'd say don't play the plant on the. But I think. I think he has to. Yeah, I think get behind the plant. I think if he. Not this shot, the shot afterwards. But it's too hard to get from one to the other. Oh yeah, this one now. Get on it now. Get on such a way you can land on me, the yellow. At least he's got an angle to go into the red, and then like the yellow goes into the middle off the other red. It's over there, but it is, it's all going to come down to what angle he's got here. Looks fairly straight. Uh, he's got a bit. Screw up the side row and come back centre table. <coughs> yep, that's a lovely shot. It's actually overhit it. Uh, this makes it hard. The thing he's got in his favour, though, is when he plays this plant, he's got a only slightly but enough hit it on the left side so when the white ball comes from right side to left side of the table it's it should be on the on the other yellow who's playing around first he's playing cushion mm. cushion i don't like that no why not chop it direct If you drop it to regular, at least you, you know you're coming from side row to side row. Yeah, you can control, control it. Yeah. And if you don't get it right, you've got a, at least you've got a backup ball at the top. There's another option. Oh, oh wow, he's back to order. What a shot that is. Shot. That is a good oh, shot. Oh, he's just fooled us all there. <laughs> he actually plays that shot really oh. well, too. I've seen him do it a number of times. Yeah, that's, but that is a much better shot. <laughs> Honestly, didn't see that. I'm probably, <laughs> no, I, and you know, all that situation come up again, I'll never see it again no. either. I've always played the plant there, but he's just made himself look like an absolute genius. It's coming through. Got to go through the ball. I think so. Here? No, I think through. Unless he's just happy to take his medicine on the long yeah, ball and just stun out. I think he is. Yep. Yeah. So I'd have, I'd have played that loaded up. Stacks what, the right hand side. <laughs> what, what's his head? <laughs> Jesus, a movement. I know, it just works. There's some movement there, but he gets the pot. <laughs> you noticed that too, did you? The movement. Yeah, a lot mm. of movement, but yeah, didn't stop him from potting it. Yeah, like, like you said before, Selby does it, he just, he just keeps, keeps moving. Look at this shot, folks. Get that up there. Oh. Love the shot. We still won't remember it. <laughs> I'll never pick it. 
shot to nothing sort of thing. Yeah, it was, yeah. A bit of a shot to nothing and just, just sell our strength and see you later. <laughs> Five one. She's having these finals just been smashings from one side or the other. Can bees make the comeback? Mm. The problem is, is Trav's in too as well. No, he's Affectionately, no, he's no, always, he's always cop the hate. <laughs> he's cop the hate. How many, how many state sides does he play for in NT? Uh, quite a few. Quite a few, but he's not NT. No. Nah. He's that scum, scum of the earth, New South Wales Cockroach guy. Cockroach now. Cockroach. <laughs> Go for Queenslanders before we go for him now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. This northern politics, Dan, we're getting used to it. <laughs> yes, yes. That was the last Nationals in 2014. He gave me the Grub Award. He got it, got, it, got it prepared just for one frame. Got me one frame in the teams. Now here's the Grub Award. <laughs> it is my favourite trophy. Oh, Beegs. That's a loss of frame. I'll tell you what, if Sarwan was here and he was playing his final, <laughs> Sarwan would have said, uh, um, uh, that's a loss of frame. In fact, I might even take the match. Yeah, I'm not, not sure if that's in the spirit of the game, to be fair. Uh, it was debated long and hard at Big Guns <laughs> when it happened, that's for sure. It's, a bit of, it's obviously been a bit of a laugh now. I think even Shane Fell can have a laugh about it, but that's good news. I think if he sits back and has a good think about it, though, he still wants to kill the bloke. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to laugh about these things, otherwise, what's the point? He still moves, doesn't he? Mm. But you're, it, it kind of like... Actually, you know someone else that does that is Michael Scary. When Scary's playing really well, he has this slight movement forward before he strikes the ball. Something I've noticed for years about him. And if he doesn't do it, it's not playing as good. It's, it doesn't make sense, but that's that's why it is. Oh, Stubbs is always just, a, just, just to get me. I just love the way he played. Just, well, his the, head the, the movement head. of the cue. <laughs> it, it, it works. It's not silly if it works. It's like he's got a lacquer band attached to his <laughs> head and arm, and they can work, for work in unison. But yeah, you're right, just, eh? He's just, a sensational just, player. Just, uh, just the, um, the, the timing it takes to do that is just... just Phenomenal. Uh, almost the NT rail. Do you reckon the um, black's on? No, he's using two for that one. Oh, he's got two, I forgot. Gee, that one was a bit Oh, he's not anymore. Then the movement. That's going to hurt him. A bit lazy, that. That hurts. But again, that's that movement. It, 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 it come to a point where it's going to come back to get you. I really think that black will go if you get on the side rail. No. You don't reckon? No. I'm just looking at where the yellow is, and I reckon you can draw a line between the two, like a yeah, laser point line. You've, you've got to be spot on. Yeah, just on the side rail, mate. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> well, he may be off the rail. Well, off the Tim rail wouldn't get it there. because he's used to bouncing off the rail. <laughs> but someone else would get it that's not used to doing that. If, if, if you can get on the red, it's down near the black spot. I mean, you, you can get it there and then have balls in the open still. Mm. No. I wouldn't be trying to land on the rail. I do that when I, would, when I don't want to. I love reading chat sometimes. <laughs> I, oh, can't, I can't see that from here, I so like, feel free to... Your eyes that crap, mate. Yeah. Jesus. I, so feel free to share that. No wonder you stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> got a comment saying save the controversy and let the ball drop as it on the white ball. Oh. Well that takes too much time you might as well save time and grab it for your opponent. You save two and a half seconds doing that. It's the spirit of the game. Nothing wrong with it. That, you know that all got invented because some wanker in a pub did it and it puts his hand in the back of the pocket then the ball doesn't go in and then a big fight erupted because <coughs> Yeah, yeah, the other guy thought it did. I don't know if that's really what happened, but that's like so a scenario good. that's very well, possible. That's, that's if it didn't hit my hand, no. I'll take it out. Gee, this, this, this has a lot of ways mm. to go wrong. 
What a, a shot. Little, way, little ways to go. Oh. oh, he's been a bit unlucky, but he yeah. needed he needed luck. He'll take it though. He needed luck. He'll take that every day. Oh, absolutely. He's cleared it and he's got a shot. What more can you ask for? Could have, he could have stuck up on it there and snooking himself, anything could have You see a lot of players do that and play the exact same shot and they'll, and they'll get really frustrated, but, but, but they're on it, they've got a shot. Yeah. Get excited. He's going to let this run off three, I think. Mm. Oh, he's... No, he's got it too. That's a lovely, lovely <coughs> shot. He actually um, he killed the, the white really well too. Well, he actually kissed off the black. Mm. Big. Yeah, this is six, six one. This is pretty four, thin. Two. This is a big shot. Mm. Oh, that, and, and Scotty, <coughs> you spoke about it earlier. The movement will get you. That was there was more movement than normal there. Go on, go on, Dan. Show us, show us the replay. Go on. Show us the movement. <laughs> and this is, this is, I just want to, well, you, yeah, don't, need that you, don't, have, you don't have to move, though, to do it. <laughs> I, um, this is not, this is not to bag the bloke out, folks, just so I am clear about that. This is just purely a learning exercise. So when you want to, when you're under the pump and you want to try and give yourself the best chance, no movement is what you want. Watch this. There's a stacks of movement here. <coughs> Look at, the, look at the head jump up. Come well, on, you though, he's trying to get the white, his hand out of the way. So that's probably a big contributing factor. Yeah. Again, I still don't think you need it. It's, it's, I, I still think there's a pressure there, because that was, again, it was big. It was 6-1 or 5-2, potentially. You know, it's funny. <coughs> he's played that, I think, with right-hand side. Mm. I would much rather play that with bottom and left. I, I and much completely avoid the middles. Yep, I much prefer it. And, and also what happens is you can create a bigger cut. Because you can't, if you get the side right, you can create that kind of arc where it pulls away from the potting angle. So you're mm. actually cutting it thinner. I don't know, yeah, it's, thinner, a, yeah, it's yeah. a horses for courses type of shot. I'd play that, if I've got to play that with right hand side, I'm, I'm gone. I'm missing yeah, by prefer, more. I think so. <coughs> I prefer the, the, the running and the check. Oh, oh what a that that is huge. sensational effort. Wow. Well, and he's dirty. Yeah, you're right, Dan. That would have been a match if that went in, because that would have would have um, would have destroyed me. Would have destroyed the <laughs> spine of Chris Beagley. I think he's got. Oh, oh, oh he's nice. played. He's played the backup shot. But hang on, you want to see chicken wing? Just go back and replay that one. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to he's going to drop another snooker in here, I reckon. Or do you think he takes the pot on the middle and just says, you know what, start I'd start asserting some dominance? That would be nice if he did. Oh, he's gone that one. No. Oh, he's oh, gone. Oh, stop it. I'm actually going to say he's off his head playing that shot. That was a crazy option. Clearly the confidence is low, and that's when you, you've got to pull yourself up and go, hang on. If I'm not potting, then I've got to do something else. I played this shot earlier today in my match. Where I had half a pocket to play this ball in, I'm thinking, okay, pot this, kick me on the ball throw, I'll just go game because I've got to get going. It was the stupidest shot I could have played. It was a safety available, and I just thought, no, no, do it, get going. Missed it by four foot, lost the frame. Sometimes you just, I don't know, you've got to make a decision and pull the trigger on whether you're decide, going to decide to try and assert your own dominance, get your own confidence up through some, some kind of big shot. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And it's a very personal thing. Everyone will do it differently as well. Absolutely. More contact made, but this time not close to a pocket. I'd, I'd still be, if I was I'd still be going, yeah. His legs look shaken. I think he's going to get these ones, mate. You would think so. But he's, he's, no, he's still... Yeah, I think he always keeps like that, doesn't he? No. Maybe he's a bit smoother than that and all. Yeah. With a lot more angle than that. It's a kind of just done up between them. Oh, okay, oh. never mind, that's fine. 
for the one. Wow. Oh, uh, I'm going to make the call. These middles are tight as hell because I've seen so many balls miss there. It's just, yeah, the middles are really tight. Oh, I think that's purely a confidence one, that one. Yeah, no, there's, there's been a lot of balls missing in the middle, but there's nothing, there's nothing tight about them. They're pretty standard. That was just a, one of those shaky shots. I mean, you can't read the chat and not tell me. <laughs> so, has Beak's got a brother? No. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. I know he's got a sister. I don't know what he's talking about. He's saying, stop picking my brother. I know what he's talking about. Anyway, that's a, that is a big blow. That was a, a bad error. It's a very shaky shot. It was just... 6-1. I didn't, didn't feel like he was confident at all. Tell you what, he did well to come back from this. Even though it's race to nine, he's got a few frames off his sleeve. That's a big mountain to climb. But it has been done before. It's, it's a funny game. No, not a lot of cheering for Trav. Should we get amongst it? He's used to it. <laughs> He's used to it. He's used to it. Come on, Travis. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's one. Did that, he didn't buy me a Calcutta. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, that guy bought me the Calcutta. I'm surprised he hasn't come up and stabbed me. <laughs> We've got some work on that. It's a big break. Oh, he would have loved oh, that for not going. Oh, he's yes. okay. He's got another ball. There's one stuck on the black. Actually, what am I talking about? You're going reds, yeah. Legs, <coughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a syndicate of three of them, apparently. Well, there you go. So the people that bought Trav and the Calcutta got Beggs as well, so they couldn't care less who wins. Oh, I, I couldn't make the Calcutta, so I said to Beggs, look, here's, here's 300, just go and make sure we get you. And no, apparently it was too expensive. So. Yeah, we went for 700. <laughs> I actually, I, I spoke to Daniel and I said, I'll have 300 on Trav. I was on the plane. Yeah. I said, I'll have 250 on myself, not 200 on myself, because I didn't rate myself at all. I said, I'll have 300 on Trav, because I actually... See, you were right once. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would have got a small return because I made the score as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, 300 on Trav, Dragon? Yeah, it wasn't enough. Uh, come on, Chris. You know, a minute ago I actually thought these balls weren't that bad. Now I just think they're both crap. It's <laughs> not ideal, is it? What the hell just happened? <laughs> Is he on the yellows? Yeah, he is. <coughs> yeah, he's there. You going to play the double, is he? No, Do you think it goes? It's going to cut the red. I like it. I think he's playing the double inside the red, yeah. is he? Oh, no. oh, wow, what an effort that was. Uh, it ended very badly. Should He's a chance to win the frame, though. Mm. I was just going to run the, on, the, on the right rail, run it down. It's just this black. You've just got to get on it. No, he's, he's got multiple balls to, 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 to nudge it somewhere. I don't think you need to nudge it. I think you just need to get behind it on the right side of the table. So yeah, You want to go a little bit further than that. Yeah. Here's how I see this out. Is play this red that's near the ball point. Get on the one that's near the rail, pop that. Get centre table and play the red in the middle and come down for the red that's to the left of the spot in the right middle and just stun it so then you've got a nice little angle just to run through to the right side rather for the black in the middle mm -hmm. as my path and of course after i played probably one or two shots i'd have to reevaluate because i'll stuff something up but that's pulled that up absolutely this is the only ball i wouldn't touch the only one So this oh, is what I mean. It's amazing how people read the game differently. But he's ends up in no man's land. He's over here for sure. But but it is incredible how people just see the the mapping differently. Mm. Look at that seesaw action exciting. you've got going on there too. <laughs> oh, he's laid it up. He's tight in those screws, won't he? Do you reckon he tried to yeah. sit that? You reckon he did? Yeah, I oh, guess where the white's gone. It's, it's, it's one of those shots. It was. It was he was happy with either outcome. Makes 
are very hard now. That's he's actually got good coverage. He was he was hoping for a kiss. I'm actually wondering if there's a gap. No, I really don't think so. No. Oh, there is a gap, but it's not big enough to pot it. I can only draw it out. So are you trying to bury the black a bit more now or? I think you have to. I think you've got to smother it this shot. But oh, he's playing the I guess his theory is I've got to if I get that over the hole it makes that red hard, but Yeah, but he's got to get this one of those high he's got to get it higher on those ones so you can't under hit it. Imagine that red that I said I'd leave be still there. Imagine if right now. <laughs> imagine if it was still there because no, I'd still be leaving it to last. That was the best transition ball for me. I can't believe he's not pulling the trigger on this. No, he's playing ultra. So he's, he's he really wants it, so he's gonna make he's, he's gonna make sure of these things. Which I think if, if I was big, I'll be I'll be cheering for. Because he's going to be a bit, a bit more hesitant. She's on tempted to play the like punch this out, just draw the red out, screw the white ball to the left side rail, <laughs> and just hope that the red yeah. that you draw out doesn't like you don't leave it on, and you leave it flat pot. on the rail. <laughs> That'd be nice. Because I think it's I think it's the best chance. It's a bit of a like attempted safety. I mean, you could try and backdoor it as well, like Trav did earlier. Much harder shot. But I don't know, I just fancy trying to draw this out, screw the white ball back across. Try yeah, you've got to have an element of control there. He's looking up. I really like trying to land this white ball either just on the bulk line above the yellow or underneath it, depending on what his angle is. Yeah, well, he's played the shot offset, but he's let the oh, white go. Oh, no. Hey. Blacks enough. Yeah, the black. yeah, I thought he hit a bit hard. I don't blame him for playing that shot though. No. I'm not going to think you have the angle to play your shot. I still think that could have landed worse. He plays his double, if he plays his two ball plan, that's pretty close to in off. Mm. No, he's, he's playing the, the right middle. He's got to hit it just to put the wobble up a little bit. Oh, yeah. look out. Did you hear that? <laughs> Someone uh, there. No, that was, that, was, that, was, that was Jenny Bingham. She's only just moved back, so it didn't count. I, th I actually <laughs> thought it was a recording. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, it's gone too far. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you know what? He might be able to play it off the yellow. Play it off the yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Or your shot, just can yeah. it into it. But or just go above it and play, take, it, take it to the bottom left. You know what? A little bit high, I feel like. The simplest of the shots is the one you've said. It's just that in your mind you're thinking, oh, this is so easy in the middle. Why do I want to play for the corner? It's mm. so far away from. <coughs> Looks like he's going to play the cannon. Oh, he might try and. No, he's going to play the cannon. Played it well. Played it really well. <laughs> so now, just this. Little stun shot with a touch of right hand side, just to angle the ball down right side of the table, and he's going to float. I repeat, <laughs> float down it's the, the table. second time this weekend, is it? Might be the third. Oh no, oh, no he's just going to stun across. That's yeah. a better shot. <laughs> Much safer shot. Well, I didn't. I thought it was a bit thinner <laughs> yeah, than so that. I'm off my head. It's a very nice shot. Didn't look as good though, did it? Uh, floating would have been better. 
Well, you see that white ball come off that top rail and then it just goes sort of sideways. It's still, it's straight on the line, you know, when it comes straight on the line, it, back on the line. It would have looked, it would have looked better. Sometimes it's about how you look out there. Not very often, but sometimes. Oh, if it's Justin Sage. Stop yawning down, we're not finished yet. 7 1. We're getting close. That's it, Shimmy, come on. Go and random up, tell them to start tearing. Do you want to know honestly what this reminds me of? This reminds me of actually how I played in my match. Yeah, <laughs> no, honestly, just missing balls left, right, and centre. It, it's, it, it's but what's what's going through your head at the time? What was what? Talk us through that. Oh yeah, because that's the learning curve. What, what, what's going through Beegs' head, or what's going through oh, my head at the time? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's something similar. He's got headphones on. I don't he know what's going on there. What's that? What's that all about? It's music. He just yeah. Really? Yeah. Geez, the music always not up. I could do that. <laughs> oh wow! And then he takes it out. Yeah. Maybe he's getting coaching through that. I've thought of it that many <laughs> times. And I've thought of it. Can I tap into it? Just talk, talk crap in his ear, <laughs> just for fun. No, honestly, the reason he's probably missing the ball at the moment is just scoreboard pressure. It's, it's a big but, confidence. Oh, this, this, this yeah. is actually a replay of me. I kid you not. This is how bad this is right now. I, I, this is exactly what I did. Well, what, what were you thinking at the time? <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Um, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Left foot, right foot. <laughs> Honestly, I, I have a, um, a mental battle a lot of time with my cueing action. If I don't feel like I'm getting through the ball well, it gets in my head a bit, mm. and then I start you know, struggling. I don't so, know, maybe, maybe he's doing the same well, thing. Well, it sounds to me like it's just a like confidence thing. Yeah, I, well, I'm a huge confidence player. If I get my tail up, I'm flying. And that's most people too, mm. you know. Maybe Biggs is having a similar um, battle with his head out there. He's just struggling to get going because he's so far down. But Very this whole match, he's not played well. No. <coughs> no, Trav, Trav has, has played pretty well, though. But he's he's pretty, actually pretty playing, consistent. Yeah, and, he's, and he's, he's done what he does with a lot of people. He, he, he starts that lockdown business mm. and tries to, you know, grind him down a bit. See him sweating though, let him love him. <laughs> yeah, but he's used to that too. Needed the side, there's no side on that. No. Oh. It feels good to hit something in <laughs> at this point. In time. And you know what, sort of, sort of talking about, sometimes you can pull off a big shot, you know, get you going. You can make a little difference. I know, and actually, I'll tell you someone who's a massive believer in that is Ben Noonan. Mm. If he's yeah, struggling, he loves to smash a ball in or whatever and just, you know, get going. I love watching him in full flight. Oh, so good to watch. See, for me now, this is this is a, this is an I give up um, mm. uh, frame because he's, he's literally... What's he doing, potting balls? He can't do anything, he can't win where the balls are. So it's like a, I give up, I'm just going to pot some balls and just, I don't know, make it feel like I've contributed. You say that like you've been there, because I have. I've oh, definitely been there. No, I don't do that, because I'm too much of a control freak. So I always want to try and work out what's going on, but... <coughs> But what, what I will tend to do personally is I'll, you know, if I feel like I need to make something happen because it's just a disaster, I'll try and play some big shot to extract a ball or whatever, and then, you know, if it, get, if it doesn't happen, then it gets worse and worse and worse. But it's a very oh. mental game. And see, he's seven once, so he's like, I'll do whatever I want. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. 
This would not have been the scoreline I would ever have predicted. Look, I, like I said from the start, I picked Trav to win, but I thought it might be something like, I don't know, 9-6, 9-7. No, I was actually in favour of these. But you're biased though, mate. I was looking at... I, I looked at the contrast of styles and how I've seen both players play all weekend. He has had a rough weekend. No, I'm telling you now, if the score was if the score was four all, Beggs would not be missing these balls. Seven one is not fun for anyone. And look, I don't know how some people feel about score lines and stuff. And I mean, this is streamed. It goes, it's on the internet forever. You know, do you want to? Do you, are you embarrassed? It, it, it is pressure. Are you it, embarrassed it pressure. though to you know, get belted? Like let's say he loses nine one. Is that are you embarrassed that that's going to happen? Are you <coughs> thinking about it before it's even happened? Yeah. Like personally, I don't care. I don't care. But some people, oh, some, I, some I, people, have, I have felt that. Yeah. Some people might feel they're you know, it's an embarrassment to themselves that they've performed so badly, and you know, so it gets worse and worse in their head. So that's one of the worst places you'd be stuck in is your own head, isn't it? Sometimes. Absolutely. I mean, just, just get there and, and get through the balls and, and stay in the moment. So even that, that's not even yeah, close. No. That's like you tried to double it. <laughs> Got a sick result. But, but Travis, Travis just doesn't care what he does right now because he's always got an answer. He's got cover. He's got control. He's got even breaks up his sleeve. He's just going to keep promoting his balls. Mm. The self-control in these situations is, it can be hard, but you've got to have it. The problem, you've got to it back is, in. the problem for him too is every time he's at the table, he doesn't have anything. He's got no out, he's got no clear path to an extraction or a, a way to win the frame, so he, f he keeps, he's constantly feeling like he's got to play some big shot. So, so let's say that goes in, then what? He smashes the yellow off the red and tries to fluke it in the like onto the other yellow in the corner. Like I'm potting the red every day. <laughs> oh, <that shot. laughs> but yeah, you're right. It's just, it's just a horrible feeling. You don't like to see anyone go, go through that either. <clears throat> Personally, I love hill hill matches. Just just the the, the penultimate frame. Yeah, and that's just, just, you know, and that's when so you do good. see pressure in a lot of chop ups too. Sometimes, especially in nationals. Mm. Oh, you see it all the time. At our NT titles, we have a um, in, in the teams matches. There's, if, if it's a draw in the final, it, it's a sudden death three, yeah. three, three, three frames each. Oh yeah. Well, at three frames, and three players each. And it's, I've, it's so many we've been to, and I've, I've been to, and it's just so exciting. It's heart wrenching when you lose them, but when you get them, it's just oh my god. So I think Victoria does something similar too. I'm trying to think. I was actually in a three-way playoff. With Butters and Clacky a few years back. I can't remember what the format was now, but I know we've played each other twice. Mm -hmm. I just can't remember exactly. I think it was just two frames, but I, I can't actually remember anymore. Yeah, it's just three three people from each team. It's, it's, it's the best of three. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's just so many times it's happened. It's, just, it's really exciting. When to lose, it's just really exciting. See, so, so if I'm Beggs here, this is actually a fairly big pocket because you overcut it, you'll go off the yellow. But you got to, I'm actually having a dip here. I'm having a dip. Because you're playing this at pace, the white's going to throw more and you can get into this yellow. So you're not going on the left because that, that doubles the one left, doesn't it? I'm going, I'm going the ball on the top yeah. right and I'm going to try and get an extraction on the yellow. That's oh, yeah, okay. I think it's there. I think the angle's there. Yeah, but if you don't hit it that hard, the double's on though. That's true, yeah. Jeez, Jesus moved. Jesus. That's the, the, the whole thing just yeah, moved. A lot of dropping of the shoulder. Actually, mm. it's really interesting when you watch Beak's cue from when you can see his elbow, you actually see his elbow drop a lot. Like there's a lot of movement in his in his uh, upper action. But when he's cueing well, he gets through the ball nice. So. Can you never commentate any of my games? Just to say. Can we do that? Dude. <laughs> it's terrible. Dude, I'm telling you now, I, people come and take my action. I'm, I'm, they've got plenty to talk about. <laughs> the only action I've got is just weird action. It's weird action. <laughs> but whatever works, right? That's what you come I, I guess the problem with pressure is when you, if you've got bad habits oh, in your game, always come out. Absolutely. 
Mm. And then that's what the training and the practice was for, is to just to... Yeah, and when you don't practice, which is honestly something I don't do anymore, um, yeah, you, you, you pay oh. the price. That's a really good shot. Oh, they need to stay there. Oh. What a good shot that is. And don't, like, there might be a few people at home going, gee, that was lucky. That was very no. deliberate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, probably didn't really play for it that close, if you want to get brutal about it, but uh, it down there, the, in, the intent matter. was brilliant. And you know what, if he had actually popped that red, he was oh, still OK. Get in behind it. Oh, don't go in. <laughs> oh, stop it. Yeah, he's having a nightmare now. Yeah. But again, like, look, you know, your, your match was it today or yesterday. If nothing goes right, what do you do? Yeah. You've got a cop it on the chin as hard oh, as it is. It's all about, um, so what happens if you get a bit of a bad run of the, run, of the green and then you get a chance, if you blow that chance, it all just feels worse. You just you <laughs> compounds. You actually feel like you've just been really unlucky the whole match, but then when no, you break it down in your head and go, well, I, I chopped this up, I chopped yeah. that up, I chopped this up, I've actually lost four yeah. frames, I have a big chance to win. It's all me. And the match could have been close. You've got to take ownership of those things, don't you? You absolutely do. There's so many people out here say all the time, geez, I was unlucky. Well, were you really? Good hole. Good hole. You know what? I really like that shot. It was like, it was Even, a good... Good positive I, safety. I don't think it's turned out amazingly well. Oh, if the black and blue was far. Exactly. Yeah. But I th I'm wondering if the red's on now. No. Yeah. Oh, in this one? No. Yeah, the bottom one. No, it's not now. It's a big shot. Oh. Yeah, he's moved a bit on it as well. <laughs> do, you, do you get nerves that they never match? Uh, when the, uh, the tail end of a match? Mate, oh, this is going to sound up. really stupid, right? I, I don't know. Do, do you know how? It's going to sound like I'm big note myself, but it's it's not really <laughs> what what my intention is. I mean, I've played a lot of national titles, and I've played. I've been the anchor man almost yeah. every year, and the, I think the reason the guys put me there is because I've got a B game as well, mm. and I'll grind a frame out if I have to, and I do actually handle that pressure fairly well. Yeah, there's a difference between a team's match and a singles match, though. Hey, so you're saying, do I have trouble closing frames out, or matches out, or...? Well, uh, hey, in this, in this, if you're trapped 7-1 up, what, what, are you, what are you feeling right now? If um, the word awesome comes to mind. <laughs> 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 OK, but that's not always the case, though, is it? No, some, Sometimes you get 7-1 up and you haven't really hit the ball as well. So. Uh, I reckon if I've gotten 7-1 up, I'm hitting the ball all right, because I chop up too much if I'm not hitting the ball well to not give them frames. So. But uh, so, so some people, I mean, well, I find it hard to, to finish, finish matches off. And, and, and a, lot of people, a lot of people do as well. I'll, I'll give you an example for myself. I don't, I don't think it was streamed, but I played Jamie Butin last night, or yesterday. Mm. I think I won 7-2. Yeah, he reckons you just, just couldn't, couldn't do anything wrong. And one, once, I, once I got going, mm. I was just flying, you know, I didn't really miss a lot. Miss a lot. So that's... Yeah, for me, if I'm, if I get in the groove, he's tried to sneak at least on the yellow, you know, from that shot. He's under hit it. Coming. Yeah, in, in the groove, but it's, it's it's still another skill to learn is to is to close him out. I mean, that that's. Yeah, I agree. I don't get that shot that um, Travis played. I know he's tried to cut him off the yellow, but how about chopping this and pushing the red to the side rail and get a good safety? He's tried to sneak on the yellow on the bottom left. But he was never going to play it anyway. Oh, why did he hit it so hard? No, that's why. That's why. It needs to bounce. Oh, look at this result. Oh. Oh. No way he played for that. But what a great result. Well, he's played for the one on the bottom left. But... He needed something, I know that yeah. much. Get out of the pocket. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Ah. Oh, I, I'm going to sound so brutal saying that, but you have to see that shot. I'm going to sound brutal saying that, but you have to see that angle. That angle going up and down the table is always there. You've got to see that. Is it a, was it a lapse in concentration again? It? It's just a yaw like a middle frame. Not making sure of it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It never, like, there'll be a lot of people going, those, that was stiff, but that, that, that shot, mm. that is always there. 
just an example of when you, things are going right, they're going right. When they're going wrong, they're going wrong. It's, it's, I mean, there's so many different reasons why we love this game. One of them is because it can change so quickly. And you know what? So he plays that big shot, and then he gets a fat result. Mm. Gets straight down on the shot, plays it. Mm. Walk around the other side of the table, compose yourself, check the line, check the angle, know where the ball's going to come off the back rail and hit the side rail, know where it's going to be. A couple, actually, couple of seconds. Actually look at it and then go, righto, good to play. Get down, knock it in, win the frame. <laughs> but again, it's, it's hard on that point because all you want, all you want is win a frame. You just want to, you just want to pull black. Exactly. And you just the rush of blood, you just. Mark Bingham's around here somewhere. I reckon he's absolutely choking. Why? Oh, because he played Beggs first. <laughs> yeah. So, Trav dumps the white. It is a very quiet room, isn't it? Come Use your big girl voice. That's <laughs> your teacher voice. Where's this? Uh, where's this yellow going near the black here, Scott? He goes in the middle. Which one? Left. Left. Oh, yeah, there's a big enough gap there. You're right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that tells us for sure. But even that shot. He sort of landed a bit dodgy, hasn't he? He's not. Is it a respect thing? I mean, you've got to respect those. That eat each shot, is it? Yeah, as I, said, as I said, it's a, it's a walk around and have a look where you want to land type thing. You know, pick a spot on the table and go, I want to land here, rather than staying where you are and then just getting down and hitting it. That's a lovely shot. But he's actually killed the yellow, unfortunately. Mm. So lovely pot, terrible result. It's, um, the, 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 the yellow closest to the black spot doesn't go for the red to, to clear the yellow, I suppose. Say again? The, the yellow up near the black spot does go off the, the, the red near the bottom right to clear it. Oh, he'll be happy with that. Mm. He will be static with that because I think he tried to pot that too. Because he was going to go for a cannon next shot. What are you flying out, James, tonight? Uh, well, tomorrow morning, sort of like 1 a.m. in the morning or something. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Typical darn red eye then? Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping it'd be a quiet flight, but just found out it's chock a block, so that's not ideal. Just hoping to have to sleep on three chairs. <laughs> Next time you come up, you've got to get, get, get amongst the, the NT stuff. Like. Like Dan when he took the, the GAN up from Adelaide. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the train, the GAN. That sounds fun. Uh, <clears throat> I reckon it would hurt more when you're 80, but okay. <laughs> oh, he's missing. What yeah, the hell is he going for there? He's never going off the other way. But again, it ain't one up. A strange yeah. shot. <coughs> oh, I think he was trying to push the yellow down here as well to mugs oh. this cluster of rubbish. So oh, that's a good. That's it. a good shot. This guy, mate, come on. Good result, Biggs. whatever you want to call it. He's um, he's landed on it. He's got a shot at it. Now, Beegs, you've missed about 28 balls in the middle. Do not miss this one. That specific left middle too. Why is he jacking up? Maybe go in the corner. Right. Shot. Yeah, it's a good shot. So is that. That's no, perfect. Absolutely perfect. 
Jeez, what are you lying down for? He's got bells on. <laughs> he's like, Arr! Yeah, we'll hear some claps. Oh, Mr. Beagley. And that's not you, Steve. <laughs> Depends what school you go to. <laughs> If you know, but Chris is actually a school teacher as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. There's a lot of school teachers up here. Yeah, there's a few. What's he teach? Uh, PE. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> that Love, makes loves sense. to teach basketball. I was going to say, he probably loves teaching all running and stuff. Well, there's probably not much to teach you running, is there? I think everyone knows how to do that. <laughs> no, if you see me running, best you run too. Something, something chasing us. <laughs> the, the, the walk up the cascades we went to is, is 1.3 k's. It took us a good hour. Oh, I'm not, I don't like running either. I'm not it that was, bad. It's not running, it was climbing up yeah, hills and rocks and whatever else. <laughs> yeah, I, we went for a, a walk up the towns about Castle Rock. And like, out of the three of us, I probably looked the fittest, but I was the most unfittest by a mile. <laughs> I wanted to keep stopping for breaks, and then I fell over going down the hill and cut my leg. And Downhill's hard. <laughs> no, I prefer going down there and up here. <laughs> These big legs got some lactic acid in them real quick. <laughs> There's another place we went to, Florence Falls, 135 stairs to get down and up. 135, that doesn't sound too bad. No, no, it doesn't. Better than 1,000 steps. Well, we still wasn't used to it, so it was still tough going. So, of course, what does Travis do? Puts the ball over the hole. You do you, Travis. Who's, who's that? No, two oh, all. Right. Little swerve shot coming up here for Travis. Yep, just had to swerve it a little bit. He's not. Uh, I hope he doesn't just uh, pot a bunch of reds up that left hand inside the table and leaving these two down the bottom until like till near the end, because that just tells me straight away it's a disaster going to happen. Yeah, I think you meant full, full strength on mid-strength. Yeah, mid-strength. Mid <laughs> no, you're right, if he, if he just starts popping those. Well, at yeah. least he's bringing soldiers into town, but uh, he's potted, unfortunately. Okay. Can, can he sneak past the yellow near the middle? Smash it down. Yeah. Can he get into the top red first? Oh. Angle looks tight to clear the to clear the red near the middle and avoid the jaw in the middle pocket. I was going to just the, the, the bottom the yellow out and the, the bottom the, the, the black spot. I really I really didn't mind the idea of getting on the red that's to the bottom left here and trying to put it over the hole, mm. which he still might do after he plays oh, this shot. What else is there? No, no. So he's doing exactly no, what I said. No, he's, he's, he's hit that badly. He, but he's still doing exactly what I said. I didn't want to see him doing. That's just like get rid of all of his soldiers off the table and then just leave himself nothing. No, he actually hit that badly. He was going for the shot you said. I think. Jeez, he smashed it. <laughs> yeah, he hit, hit it poorly. Has he got to screw back into create something? But the, the no, amount of power yeah. you need to play this at. And this is the left middle gets missed then too. He, he's found something. I don't know what it is. No. Well, what's he doing there? Has he got two and we don't know about it? No. No, that's not bad. I don't mind that. Oh, he could have done that friggin' four shots ago. Four shots ago he could have done that. <laughs> Five, maybe. What was the point of getting rid of all those good balls up there that could have been used later on in this frame to help him out? Confidence building. 
<laughs> but he hasn't left him a hell of a lot. I mean, that's, I mean, it's probably a double. Jeez, I'll tell you what, if I go back and listen to myself, I reckon I'll sound really brutal on this stream, but I'm just trying to be... We won't get you up again if you're going to be brutal. Well, know. logical about it. I'm trying to be logical <laughs> about it and understand the thought process, you yes, know. Yes, yes. That's a good show. Yeah. Does the black come into play somehow? Do you kill it? Do you do something? Ralph yeah, first. do you play the black onto the red onto the yellow? Yeah. Look at all these beers coming at us. What's going on here? <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Who's on the real beer? Thanks, I'm on the real beer. <laughs> What's a real beer? Full strength, not mid strength. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not good enough, I think. Did you like black onto red onto yellow? Yeah. It was tough, though, because you had to, hit it, had to hit it perfect, but... Even you hit it perfect, you know, you hit it, hit it decent, so you create a confusion. Yeah. Whereas this, I think you just open it up. Trav's still going to play a good white here. He's not going to... No, he's going. He's going to go. You reckon he's going? I reckon he's playing a good white. Oh, stop it. Travis Crowley. <laughs> Crow an absolute set. Crow an absolute set, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these are all sorts of trouble. Maybe this, maybe he's just like, I make two up, I'm just going to, because you reckon this is a bit of a grudge match, maybe he's just decided to rub his face in the dirt and just oh, step on that, his head. That is a very Travis Crawley move, I will say that. Yeah, I've seen him do it before. <laughs> I can win this frame from here, but I'm just going to keep grinding you into the ground yeah. until you submit and just tilt and play some crazy-ass smash shot that achieves nothing and you look like a goose. <laughs> And then you can have the satisfaction of saying, oh, I caused yeah. that. I don't like to see it, but... Yeah. And then one day what happens is they do and they jag it, win the frame. <laughs> and you cop some karma. <laughs> that's good. That's a good shot. Could you please explain to me why that's a good shot? Well, it's created confusion for him. I mean, I know it tries control, but I mean, it's, what else could you do from there? I would try to bury the white to reduce him to one myself. He's clear to the one corner. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow, that, yeah, that, worked out very that well. couldn't have turned out better if you picked him up and put him there with your hands. That's actually a sick result. So this should be match, honestly. Mm. <coughs> Must say I'm a little surprised that he didn't play the ball over the hole first, but maybe it wasn't on. I don't think it was on, no. Mm. It just looks like he doesn't cue through it. He's, 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 he's decelerating. He's actually left this at a touch awkward. But it, he should be okay. Yeah, no, he's okay. I just wanted to see what his angle was like, where the white would land, but he's, he's totally fine. Mm. Ah, using his two. Smart player. <laughs> no, I think Good call. Not. It's lazy. That's what it is. It's just pure <laughs> laziness. To, He's tried to hold the white ball low so he could just stun, you know, but so that way he's not going into the reds. But it's, it's pure laziness. <coughs> oh. How horrible does this look? <laughs> how, do, how, do you even, how do you even approach the table? What do you, what do you think? <coughs> Smash the shit out of it, yes. honestly. Yes. I'm just going to absolutely carve this up under a mile an hour. All I'm doing here is looking at how I can get both balls to move as much as possible. <laughs> so I've got the best chance to fluke it. But you need to move them up, just only up to one end, otherwise they come back here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Do you think maybe you can hit the red into the bottom rail into the other end and double it in the left middle? Oh, but the, 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 the one in the bottom rail could either go in the middle or the corner. Left, middle or corner. One shot at a time though, Scotty. No. 
Oh, he played the shot I said. Sit funny. <laughs> wow. <coughs> so, okay, here's, here's one for everyone at home. Do you play the left yellow first or the right yellow first? Because I can guarantee you there is people that will go for both choices. Oh. He will not miss this. This is the match. He's tipped up there 114 times before playing this shot. <laughs> and in it goes. So, quite a one-sided match in the end. And uh, Travis Troy is your 2021 Darwin Open champion. Congratulations to Travis. Commiserations to Beegs. But uh, good effort still to make the final. Now, I have a feeling we're moving over to the Bronx Comp final. Is that correct? Or are we just going to... Sorry, I'm, I'm still going to have that. I'm still going to have that final. I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> still getting over it? I'm a little bit heartbroken, to be fair. <laughs> uh, I, will, I will shake his hand and, and accept the, the beer that he's going to buy everyone. So. That is true. We will make him put 200 <laughs> on the bar. Actually, it's four grand of the winner for this. It's actually it pretty top-heavy, top. this um, prize money. So the, the, a few years ago, it was, it was Trav and Beegs in the semi and me, and me and Justin in the semi. And me and Beegs both got through. Yeah. And we split it, so we got three, three grand each. I was cheering. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good coin. Oh, I'm going to jump off, guys, unless I'm told otherwise to, to commentate this, but it's, we've got nothing really. We've got no visiting, no, so. I'm going to jump off. Enjoy the presentations later on, guys. We'll see you next year. Thanks very much.
Wednesday. Okay, uh, hello everyone and um, thank you for all your patience uh, today and over the weekend. I would like to uh, firstly, um, got a, quite a few people to thank. Um, firstly our sponsors, uh, Tracy Village, and thank you to the Tracy staff, all of you, thank you. Uh, Q Power, Q Power Village, Top End Signs, Professional Roofings, All Fluids, I smash Captain Barber. And thank you to our supporting partner, NT8 Ball, for bringing uh, Q-Ball TV up here. And thank you for, for Dan and Jamie being here to televise this event so well. So thank you, guys. Yeah. I'd like to thank all our, all our interstate players that travelled up here. Uh, Travis, Shannon, JJ, 
John Cloudy. Um, I don't think I've missed anyone there, I hope not. Um, and I'd also like to thank uh, one of our country players. He always comes up and plays this event and supports it and, and uh, great bloke. And um, his name's Grant Hanson from uh, uh, Tanner Creek um, Able Association. So uh, thank you guys, thank you. I'd like to say a special thank you to Daniel Bale for all your help over the weekend. We really appreciate it, mate. You really you know, have, have come up and, and given us a hand with everything here and made sure things um, are sorted. And uh, also for sorting out our microphone situation which blew up on Friday night. Um, and that's uh, by getting Next Here Entertainment to lend their assistant to us. So thank you, Daniel. This is really huge, this one. All the local players. Wow, what a weekend and what a tournament a lot of you have all played. The, the, uh, the, the amount of uh, participants that played very well over the weekend was fantastic. And um, so to all the local players and supporters, thank you for coming. Okay, I'd like uh, to recognise um, putting this event together. That is our committee. We've got Christina, Carl, Ricky, Kim, the secretary. Our, our, our treasure, treasurer, no, she's a treasure, Kate. You've done a fair, <laughs> fair bit of work, Kate, fantastic. Really appreciate it. To our tournament director, Ross, what can we say, mate? You did, did so much for this, this competition and we really appreciate it. That you had three competitions flying at once and you're on all of them, and uh, all the updates were fantastic. And finally, I'd like to thank uh, one guy who's put an, a tremendous amount of time into this weekend. This started about six months <coughs> ago, and it just steamrolled from there. And I know he spent countless nights um, thinking, doing, organising, and coordinating. Um, so a huge thank you to John Hilton. My pleasure. <laughs> Okay, without further ado, we'll do the Calcutta. So, um, we're off. Oh, 500 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so we'll, we'll get, the, get the money out of the way first. So, 3,800. Third and fourth was $380. And, and uh, that's each. JJ, someone had JJ Speaks. And that was by Grant Hanson, the country player. Yeah. Uh, well done, Grant. Well done, Grant. Well done, Grant. Okay, uh, third, fourth, someone had Shannon, and that was Travis. Well done, Travis. You keep the play as well, mate. Keep the play as well. Sorry, the Michaels. Okay, uh, we have a, a double giveaway here. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, the Sims Weeks Syndicate really did uh, pick two very good players and they predicted pretty much spot on. So in second place was $950 for, for Chris Beagley. And they also got first place for picking Travis. So Scott or? <laughs> Scott, get up here, mate. Yeah. Get, get so good, first prize is $1,900. Second prize is $950. Congratulations, mate. And well picked. Okay, we'll get some uh, formalities out of the way. For the event, uh, just like we always do, we like to support our, all our local players. Um, so uh, the, uh, over the weekend, the best ladies player was Melanie.
All right, best antique country player. And this was a great battle, a huge battle. Uh, that was won by Grand Hanson because he was the only un country player here. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. John advised him on, on the Saturday, that one. <laughs> I thought it might be a good idea to keep it quiet. <laughs> okay, best non A, non -A grader, Tim O. Jason Yu. <laughs> okay, now we'll, we'll get into some more chocolates here. So we're getting into the prize money. Okay, uh, the... Oh, it's not particularly that order, but so let's say 16. Daniel Bale, $125 check. Cash, sorry. Or check, is it? <laughs> Monopoly money. Oh, Jamie Butner. <laughs> Maddie D. <coughs> I will take your heart. We'll Damien Elmy. Lee? I'll take the nail. Well done, Lee. $125. Jim Cersei. Yeah, give me money. Jimmy! Oh, oh, Jimmy! 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 $250, Jamie Stevens. <laughs> Seventh place, $250, Tim O. Sixth place, Brad Abdullah. Sorry, Adela, not me. Someone else wrote this. I can kind of read their writing. Fifth place, Tim Hyde. You! Fourth place, one of our interstate burglars that regularly comes up here. Fantastic. Shannon Purcell, $750. Worth it. And his partner in crime, JJ Speak. Second place, runner up of the 2021 Darwin Open, Chris Beagley.
and the winner of the most prestigious eight ball competition in the world. <laughs> I'm biased, but anyway. 2021 Darwin Open champion, Travis Brawley. First of all, I'd like to thank the uh, Darwin District Apple Association uh, for the um, for this tournament. It's fast becoming uh, an event everyone's talking around around Australia. Um, obviously, international interest as well. Sometimes when there's no diseases about, but this is an event now that's on the map, and through different reasons, uh, a lot of people actually were talking about this and trying to get here. But this is an event people want to come to, and the reason is because it's a great venue, it's a great association, organisation, the tables, the bar staff, it's everything is just so relaxed, easy, and it's a really pleasure to be at this event. And look, it's great to win as well, but it's, it's just an amazing four days away. I've enjoyed myself. And I'd like to thank everyone involved. John, we've been obviously messaging each other over the last few weeks. And uh, you've done a really great job with your committee, everyone involved. The cue ball, uh, the, the pool stop, the cue ball TV, everything ran like a dream. Dan, um, Jamie, it really just does the, uh, adds the, the, the pro touch to an event. And, you know, it's an amazing event. Thank you, everyone. I'm really, um, I'm really actually proud of this because I haven't had... Probably, uh, probably 20 years since I've won this, and thanks to my nemesis, Chris Beagley, he's, uh, I just haven't I've been able to lay a glove on him for so many years, and to beat him in the final is, is actually quite, quite special, and I didn't think I'd ever beat him again, but thanks, Chris. You're a great player. All the best, mate. Thank you. Okay, we've got the, the non-qualifiers runner-up with Jim Crosby. Oh, <laughs> and the winner of the second most prestigious competition in the world. Adam Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Well played. You played very well, Adam. Yeah. Okay, that now concludes the formalities <coughs> of that one, and I will let these uh, two gentlemen, uh, Robbie and John, continue their game, and I'd like to say thank you for holding your games uh, you know, for this, so thank you. And um, yes. Carry on, let's uh, get around and support and watch them. All right, thank you, everyone. Hey, we've got some cash for you, buddy. And a trophy. And a trophy, yeah. Got caught in a bit of dirt. Come on, Bobby. Come on. In country. country.